Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we will see how to calculate daily return using Python and also using the historical data. And it is one of the best method to evaluate a stock. So based on the daily return, you can make a decision whether to invest in future or not. And you will get an idea about the performance of a stock. We will see how to do that one in Python. It is very simple. So for that I have taken two stocks, one is of Apple stock APL, so it is one year data has been taken, so date, open, high, low, close prices and volume prices are there in the data. Also I have taken SBI, it is from NSE India, so same thing, they, it has date, open, high, low, volume and close prices and its name is SBI. In and both are stored in the working directory that i have set which is working directory and you can see the sbi in stock and apl stock data now we'll see how to do that one in python first so first of all first of all we will check our working directory okay. os dot get cwd current working directory so it's correct so we have set the correct working directory and we will list out the files in that one. So you can see the two required files APL and SPI. Okay, both are there. Now we will import our uh, modules that we require for this one. Import pandas as pd. This is for uh, working with data frames. Pandas is very efficient to work with data frames. Then we will import matplot lib dot py plot as plt this is for plotting the data okay so this is as it should be as okay so we have imported that one now we'll import the uh, data that you have stored in the directory to our environment for that we'll take first we'll take apl okay. apl daily return uh, apl daily equals pd dot we'll use read csv method read csv and the file name is apl dot csv and we'll give the date as the index column date and parse dates equal to true so it will consider the date column as a date time object and we will see the data print apl daily dot head first uh, okay first five rows it has displayed we have the open high low close etc we'll make first make a plot plt dot plot apl daily and inside that one the close price what is the close price okay and we'll the we'll use color as red okay we'll see plt dot plot sorry plt dot title and give the title as close price okay and we'll see plt dot show it's not defined sorry apl should be Okay, so it has shown the uh, graph. Okay, so next we will calculate the daily return. So we into the APL daily data frame, we will add one column daily return. Okay, daily return which is equal to uh, we will we will use the PCT change. Okay, PCT change method to calculate this one. Okay, so for that APL in APL daily. We will use APL daily data and close dot PCT change into 100. PCT change is used to calculate the percentage change. So the other there is a problem. Okay. And now a new column has been created which represents the daily return. We will see that one. APL dot head. Sorry, APL daily. Okay, in Jupyter Notebook, you can uh, write this directly without the print. Okay, so you can see here, 
daily return. So first column there will not be anything because that is the first data. From second data onwards you can see the you can see the uh, answer as uh, you can see the daily return values. Now we'll plot that one. We'll plot the daily return. T dot plot APL daily and we'll select the column daily return and you see plot plt dot show okay so here you can see so using this data you can see how much volatile the stock is and you will get an overall idea based on that one you can make decision okay and with this diagram you will just get an idea about the volatility and all but you will not get more idea so for this type of data we should go for histogram we will make a histogram for that apl daily 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 return dot we'll use the hist method and we'll give the bins as 100 so this histogram will gives you a clear idea about the daily return for the entire one year period so this is the first example of calculating daily return in python for first stock so we'll do the this one for second stock we'll do use the same code okay, we'll reuse the same code let me see first we'll take the okay so in, instead of apl we'll put sba okay sbin daily is equal to so data name is bin and we'll give the index column as date and parse date equal to true and we'll print out the okay so it printed out sorry uh, print we have not changed okay so s b i n daily so it will print the that column then we will take the next code we will see the close price data okay this is for analysis s b i n daily okay so you can see the s b i n data uh, rising from may to uh, this one this year next we will calculate the daily return for that we will using the pct change method for that we will create a new column in the sbin daily which is daily return which is which is equal to sbin daily close price and use, using the percentage change method okay and we will print the first five okay now the daily return has been added first row will not have that one because there is no base price to compare then you can have the daily return here and you can have a plot about that one and see the SBIN and with this you will get an idea about how much volatile the stock is and what will be a daily return a broad idea but we should use a histogram to get a clear cut idea so this histogram will give you a distribution of the daily returns which will be easy to analyze than a simple plot okay so use this one so see we have created this one see the, from this one the distribution is clear and if you are interested you can calculate the sum as well okay so we'll see the print apl daily return daily inside that one daily return and its sum okay, the same thing for is ban as well sorry i forgot to put the underscore here okay so for apl the sum of percentage daily change is 56 and for sbn it is 85 some of them use this one also and most of them use the distribution the histogram and this figure to get an idea about the daily return so in this video we have discussed how to calculate the daily return of a stock in python using pct change method so if you have any comments or suggestions please write in the comment section and i'll be making more videos about the stock analysis using python so please subscribe my channel thanks for watching bye